Hello, welcome back to Learn Economy and today we are going to look into the concept of Keynesian revolution in the arena of macroeconomics. Let's have a look into the very same here. We can see that when it comes to the Keynesian revolution, it deals with a kind of reformation as far as economic thought is concerned. So it deals with a fundamental reworking of economic theory concerning the factors determining employment levels. The Keynesian revolution had taken place in the years following the publication of the general theory. So this is a very famous work written by John Maynard Keynes and he published the work in 1936. It was this particular work that the Keynesian revolution has started. There exists several critical aspects taken up by Keynes with respect to the classical school of thought. Let's see how it went. So we can see that Keynes was always in always working against the orthodox classical economic framework because when it comes to classical economists which started with Adam Smith, this classical school of thought was popularizing and supporting certain set of ideas. They said that unless special condition prevails, market would be in equilibrium and the classicals always believed in the idea of full employment equilibrium. This thought was challenged by Keynes. Not only this, classicals believed in the concept of laissez faire and they believed in non intervention by the government. Again, Keynes challenged the very same. Let's move on to see the details of the class, class, uh, Keynesian revolution, which challenged the classical set of ideas. So, Keynes always gave emphasis to the area of demand. Keynes believed that we should give emphasis to demand because during the times of depression of 1930s of depression the great depression of 1930s witnessed a scenario where the aggregate demand in the economy was very less so during that period no business entity was able to come up to invest in the economy so everywhere there exists the sentiments of pessimism and also the economy was very weak, very fragile and for the very same thing, aggregate demand was very less. People was not spending, as a result, economy was coming down. So, Keynes always believed that during the times of recession, since business went through a pessimistic way of thought and also the market economies would be exacerbating economic weakness and would be causing the aggregate demand to plunge further. We need some kind of effort to increase the aggregate demand. And he believed that the main cause of depression is falling aggregate demand. And he always believed to increase aggregate demand in the economy to make the economy come out of the situation of the depression. So this is how Keynes set forward his way of explaining things which challenged the classical school of thought. Let's see how it went. Keynes always favored government intervention. We have always seen that during the times of recession or depression, the aggregate demand in the economy is less. And this is the main cause of depression or recessionary phase in the economy and we want the aggregate demand to increase. And we could also see that the business, the private entities, they will not invest. And since they will not invest, this will make production to come down. Since production falls, this will make employment or labor, employment to come down. So employment comes down. And when employment comes down, income won't be there, income would be coming down. And if you are not having income, your demand would also be coming down. So this is what happened in the period of Great Depression. Keynes was following an ideology by increasing the aggregate demand. And how can this be made? This is 
made with the help of the government intervention. So let's see how it goes. Let's see that in a pessimistic world where everything is dull and bad, government intervention or government investment. So let the government intervene in the economy by going for some investment. When private players are not investing, government if increases its investment, that will lead to increase in production. And what will happen when production increases? Production will make use of certain people. So employment would be increasing. Employment increases. And what happens? Employment increases. If employment increases, the income of the people would also be there. People will be, more people will be having income with them in their hand. So when income increases, people start to demand more more demand would be there and as a result aggregate demand would be increasing the economy would be rescued from recession now it is a kind it is considered as a kind of stimulation of the economy and Keynes always considered fiscal stimulus as something that is very very important for the economy here Keynes says that the government should the government should first of all reduce tax and the government should increase spending or expenditure this is what Keynes suggested so a tax cut will be stimulating aggregate demand and why because as a fall in the tax this will be leading to an increase in the disposable income of the people disposable income means your income minus tax rate in the economy so this will be stimulating people to engage in their work people will be working for more hours and that will increase production and that will again stimulate the economy to attain a revival state so as a result we can see that much to the post world war economies in the 20th century this Keynesian revolution was ruling the world, or Keynesian ideas was ruling the world. But that doesn't mean that Keynes or his ideas were sustaining in the economy. It was there in the economy receiving all support every now and then. No. Keynesian revolution or Keynesian ideas got a setback or it got an attack in the 1970s. But again, when it comes to the 2000s, it got a resurgence. Why? If you look at the 2008 crisis, the 2008 crisis was something similar to the Great Depression that happened in the 2000, uh, that happened in the 1930s. But in 1930s, it was an extreme situation. That's why we call it as a depression. But in 2008, it was just a recession. But again, you can see that the kind of the kind of steps that we had taken to deal with the situation of recession in 2008 too was something similar to what we had taken in the year 1929-30 period. So what we could see is that the Keynesian idea is still a matter of debate. It's still debate and considered by different different economists. So that's all about Keynesian revolution. I hope you could understand the session. Thank you for watching and you can like, share and subscribe to this channel for more videos. You can also join our free telegram community to clarify your doubts. I'll be giving the link of the very same in the description box. You can also join our Learn Economy app by downloading it for which also I'll be providing the link in the description box. That's it. Thank you for watching.